Hi there, I am here with Stephen and we're at Integral Yoga. We both just taught classes. Yes, we, we did. We both just taught classes. Of course, he didn't know he was going to be teaching, but right. I, I normally teach on Monday nights. And we're doing the reading from here from The Golden Present, Daily Inspirational Readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda. And today is April 10th. And uh, the topic is... Then you try to shake the post. Even your spiritual practices are based on faith. If you didn't have faith, you wouldn't even be practicing. Everything requires faith. That is why the scriptures say that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Strong conviction is faith. If you have conviction, it is easy to accomplish what you set out to do. But before you even begin, you must be convinced. Otherwise, you would just think, Oh, okay, I'll try to do it. Don't think that way. Your thought should be, This is what I want, no matter what happens. All the rest is nothing. I won't stop until I get it. This is the most important thing in my life. Tests will come to see if you are really strong in your faith. Do you know how to install a flag post? or a telephone post in the ground. You dig a hole and put the post in. But you don't just leave it at that. You put stones all around and hammer it to make it strong. You hammer the ground all around, and then you try to shake the post. If it shakes, you hammer again. As long as it keeps shaking, you keep on hammering. When do you stop hammering? When it stops shaking. Life is like that. As long as you are shaking, you'll be hammered. It's true. God is trying to make you steady. And unless that hammering occurs, you cannot be strong and steady. So don't be afraid to face the hammering. Wow. Well, I feel like um, I'm getting tested with these videos. <laughs> Okay. We just tried to use my computer, and actually we're using Steven's computer right now because mine just stopped recording. It's iMovie, and I don't know why, and it, I, there's a part of me that just wants to be like, and I'm done. Like, I don't, maybe I'm supposed to stop doing these, but then Steven's like, well, we can use my computer. I've got the same one. <laughs> Took us a minute to figure it out, um, but we did it, and at least we think we've done it. We'll have to see if yeah, we'll post. See. <laughs> But I do feel like it's it is testing me, and um, she keep hammering, didn't you? Yeah. Well, you helped. You know, helps when there's someone that's mm. you know supporting you. That can be something to keep in mind. You know, there's times when you might be all on your own and like, oh, I give up. Or call a friend or get support, and that helps. You know. Yeah. What do you think of? Uh, it brought up relationships to me. Oh, um, that's good. The yeah, my relationship with Dylan and how how you, you're constantly working to be steady in that. In that. Mm -hmm. And there's a real beauty in the quest for steadiness. Yeah. I mean, it's the commitment staying strong or staying um, steady as in your commitment to him and the relationship or I guess just helping each other find some level of steadiness even though I I guess steadiness you have to find in yourself mm -hmm. um, but maybe helping each other develop that steadiness in one another well you're kind of being there so, for one another yeah and I mean, kind of, yeah, like any relationship. I mean, your help with me was helpful mm -hmm. um, when I was feeling yeah. like I was wavering a little bit and then you had a solution. Mm -hmm. And I think that can happen, yeah, in a partnership where one might feel a little bit like, I'm not sure, and the other one might help support where they are. Yeah. Where's the hammering? So when you're, when you're not steady or when it's not steady, you just keep hammering. Mm-hmm. I guess like it could be hang in there. Right, or related to like hang in there or like related to your sitting practice when maybe you 
your sits aren't going so great and you just keep showing up and you just keep sitting and you just keep doing it. Yeah. I like that idea better than actually thinking about when I heard this reading, it made me think of like, like, I mean, the physical hammering right, this right, very right. forceful, aggressive banging. But I yeah. like the idea where you're saying like, just, you know, sticking to it yeah. or, or recognizing that. I mean, I think what he's probably getting at too, is that there's, there often is some kind of force that needs to kind of help stabilize us that might feel, um, is a strong force to help secure us, to help us feel secure and steady. That could be love, you know, it could be this really strong force of love. It could be, um, hmm. maybe could it be like things not going the way we want to? Well, like when you're getting, when the pole, when the, the post isn't strong, it's not steady, and it's then it's wavering. So some force is helping it no longer waver. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, because it was Swami Rivananda. Hi, Jyoti. Jyoti's waving at us. And we have Jyoti also? She's outside. Oh, hi, Jyoti. You got the light in back. I didn't know if it was okay so... to interrupt. I was like, I see Jyoti. That's so waving. great. <laughs> Swami Rivananda's over there. Yeah, we got the whole crew. This is one of the videos from the Golden Present reading. Beautiful. Always <laughs> my favorite. Oh. Like, like Facebook. Do you watch sometimes? Oh, thank you. Lots of people, I think. Well, watch. I'm looking forward to you being able to share with me sometime. Would you Would you be willing to do that? Absolutely. All right. It's fun when the people in orange. You're sort share. of in it right now because we're talking to you. We're recording. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Where's the time meter on this one? Oh, set. Okay, so we've got time. Okay. Even though we had those, that was fun. Yeah, a little interlude. I mean, maybe that's that's the thing. It's like things that help. What? You have a revelation? Well, you just come back to it, right? Yeah. So there's some distractions. Exactly. Jyoti. Not that Jyoti and Swami Rivananda are distractions at all, but here you are hammering back at today's reading. Maybe. Back in. I don't know. That's what I, I mean, that's what I think. So we were, something causes you to, to come unsteady mm -hmm. or unfocused or unwilling or un or lacking mm -hmm. faith, or wanting to give up. And then what is that, that force that helps come back in to help secure you, to help you recognize that there is a steady force? That's why I think That's sometimes, faith, right? yeah, it's faith, it can be, it can be love, it can be um, feeling respected, mm -hmm. you know, something, something that brings you back onto your center. Yeah. Life is like that. As long as you're shaking, you'll be hammered. <laughs> and just like his... Yeah, is that like as long as you're energy. not believing or... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, as long as you're not trusting. You're not focused. As long as you're, you're not, not trusting what is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Acceptance of what is. I mean, this one's talking about faith. That's where primarily what Swami Satchidananda is, you know, this is testing your faith in something. So, but I think it can be, you know, many... Many things. Tests will come to see if you are really strong in your faith. And I think he's probably speaking about mm. your spiritual faith. But I feel like anything. Faith in a relationship. Yeah. Faith that this recording will maintain and we'll, we won't, you know, get pulled out to ask to go teach a class right now. <laughs> but that we're, like you did. Yeah. But that was good. Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, strong conviction is faith. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's a hard thing, right? I what, mean, it's like with conviction? any. Well, yeah, I like with any religion in a way. You don't. I mean, you don't know. Like, I grew up Catholic. I don't know that. I don't know that any of those stories really existed. They're in the Bible. I know, but that's faith, believing in it. That's even right. And if you don't really, yeah. Well, and I'm Jewish and happy Passover. Happy Passover. It's Passover. That, that's a huge story about faith. 
Passover. Yeah. Man, that was some serious hammering too that happened down then. Like when Moses led everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's faith. That's faith. Oof. Yeah. Crazy. Then it brings up the question, like, should you have faith? Should you have hope? Are those sort of, uh, I think I, I can relate this more to hope, but it's like mm, not a, like faith in something is a way not accepting what is. Hope, hoping that something is going to turn out a certain way is sort of not accepting what is and being okay mm. with that. So is faith a similar? Hmm. And here it says, everything requires faith. That is why the scriptures say that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. But faith and hope. I, I mean, I think that hope is different. And that <clears throat> hope feels to me like it's related to the future. Sure. And faith actually feels very much related to the present. Hmm. And that you are stating a commitment to uh, kind of a current a, a existing relationship you have with something. And faith in that thing being a resource for you or being um, a form of power and sustenance that's kind of how i look at it strong conviction is faith so it's that that feeling of something that's right with you right now and that yeah. can that can waver you know it's not really att attached to a story like sometimes i think hope is hope is a bit attached to wanting okay this sort of story to sh evolve yeah I think faith just is like you're experiencing an, an emotion. I don't know. I never thought of it so much, but that's why it's coming to mind. I can, I can, I can buy it. I can take, I can buy that. <laughs> it works for me right now. I have faith in that response. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> well, we're going to have to have faith that this is complete because yeah. we're shifting into this being a longer one, which is totally fine because we had some fun people. Technical that, difficulties. Technical too. difficulties. No. Friends came in to say hi. Yes. But I have faith that this will um, continue to happen, even though I feel I get challenged by technology. And I hope that you will. Oh, there's hope. You have to have, but you have to have faith. Like you're challenged by technology. You've got to have faith and just keep mm. moving on. Just keep moving on. There we go. All right. Well, okay. thanks for watching. And oh, bye, everyone. I'll bye. see you at some point tomorrow. Thank you, Sheila. Yeah, my pleasure. Back from India. Woo! <laughs>